Hey YouTube, well <clears throat> I've got quite an exciting unboxing for you today. What arrived in the post was a Raspberry Pi 2. Now this is the first time I've actually looked at this. So I'll be literally unboxing it for the first time. Now unless you've been living in the dark ages, obviously a Raspberry Pi is not a real Pi. It is a micro uh, DIY computer which you can use to, um, for media centers, you can use it to control robots, all, all kinds of funky stuff. Um, it's primarily used in schools, but so there's a look at the packaging. So it's about the same size as a deck of cards, maybe a bit bigger. And obviously this is the brand new version. So let's have a look, see what we get inside. <clears throat> so we get uh, an instruction manual in lots of different languages. From side, what else we get? And there it is. Wow. Now the actual format of the Pi 2 is identical to the original Pi. It is purely just down to processing power, which gives you the um, the ability to do more with it. Now, obviously, this uses <coughs> the um, the new quad core um, uh, Cortex A7 processor, which is about six times faster than the previous um, 700 megahertz single core processor. The um, GPU hasn't changed; it still uses the video core um, IV GPU, um, but obviously, the Pi 2 now includes a whole gig of RAM. Whereas previously on the B plus model it was only 512 and, and on the original it was 256. Now obviously being the ARM7 processor it runs all your uh, various Linux uh, distributions but the most exciting feature of this now is very very soon we'll be able to run Windows 10 on it. Now that is really really cool. <clears throat> Primarily because if we can run Windows 10 means I can run Plex. Now I mean, obviously, you can run XBMC using the um, uh, the downloadable ISO, which I will be testing in my videos. Um, but my preference is Plex, just because it's it's more stable and it's much easier to use. So let's have a look at the um, what we actually get. So we've got four um, USB ports there, which is USB two. It's not USB three, um, and we also have a 10100 network port it's not gigabit <clears throat> which is a bit of a disappointment they could have put a gigabit on it by now and just put it at a different price point i don't know why they didn't do that um, you've got the three and a half mil jack um, which can be used for composite video or audio we have the hdmi port we have the micro usb uh, i would say charger but more sort of a power supply really and you've got your 40 pins um, for your outputs which you can use to control various bits of hardware so there's an overall look at the board so just turning it over on the back we have micro sd card uh, reader now i've purchased a sandisk uh, ultra which i'll be testing tomorrow this has not actually arrived yet. Um, thanks Amazon for messing up my delivery. So there you go. There's actually not a lot to it. Um, so my verdict, you know, it's a huge improvement in performance and obviously the ability to run Windows 10 uh, very soon um, obviously makes it very, very flexible. So, uh, so anyone looking really for a DIY microcomputer would really be quite foolish to go anywhere else. So uh, check out my other videos and we will get it all booted up and see how quick it is and what we can do with it. Okay, thanks for watching.